Oh, that's a huge bowl already. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some chili, huh? So peppers. Oh, yeah. Peppers. Sate is made in house. Look at this. Sate. And it is amazing. Looks Less great. hot, more flavor. We go in for the magic of premium broth, which is super special. Ah. It is a bone broth. It is amazing, and it is only available. Look at this. Only nice. available at Fo Daddy. This is one batch. That's what it takes to make one batch of soup. One batch of soup. So wow. You don't add water and boil it again. So I've eaten a um, little bit less than half of it. Then I have another bite. Bite. Habibi. Look at this. You can see the coffee here. And I'm gonna pour it. Assalamu alaikum and good evening everyone. Right now it is minus 20 in Calgary, Alberta with the windshield. It's uh, close to minus 30. On a cold day like this, if you can get a hot soup, that's great. But if you can get that soup turned into a meal with noodles and some protein on it, that's even better. I'm here at Far Daddy in downtown. It's my first time. I've, I've tried Far before. And, but it's my first time to this branch, which is one of the halal, or only halal branch, branches of Fa here in Calgary. It's very cool. So let's go inside. Let me show you what Fa offers and everything inside. Let's go. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a tour. So uh, this is Fa inside, you know, there is a lot of, lot of tables you can sit in. Uh, let me show you the, you know, they make everything here fresh and uh, this is their menu so if i just zoom in here so they got appetizer they got spring rolls there egg rolls shrimp traditional fa with uh, you know chicken beef or vegetable option brisket or vegetable option you have bowls uh fa daddy bowls uh chicken beef or vegetable bowls uh the prices are about uh, yeah 17 80 in between 16 starts from about 16 dollar onwards um and then goes onwards so uh so yeah these are and they've got traditional as well as uh, the premium um uh, you know far as well so so yeah let me show you more all right so i'm inside and first thing um the owner here uh, gave me is the broth so he told me that this is their premium broth which is uh, you know made out of bone etc so let me he just asked me to you know to have a taste let me have a taste Mm, it's like you know yakhni in pakistan but very rich flavor very good very good on a hot day mm. it's like um you know bone marrow if you mash bone marrow and then make it a you know kind of a soup so that's what it's like um this is called uh, their sauce called satay um it's made of a different things chilies and etc i'm gonna have a uh, this is called satay i have a little um bite mm. ah. this goes uh, this this has got chili on it so if you like a little bit of a spicier taste so i would recommend this satay definitely they put they give it on the side as well so yeah mm. and these ones are the traditional broth and honestly this is my first time trying you know uh, having this kind of an experience, which is great in Calgary. Mm, similar, but yeah, premium. I would encourage pre premium. There's one more here. It looks like satay as well, but more chillier. I like this chillier. Uh, sorry, the, the satay one and the premium broth. Amazing. Mmm. You cannot, I mean, I did not have anything like that before in Calgary. Definitely must try. All right, so we got Jimmy, the owner of Fa Daddy here. Uh, Jimmy, t uh, tell me, when did you start this Fa? And what was the reason of having this name Fa Daddy? Speaking? Oddly enough, this place started, it's going to be eight years ago. But the idea of where it started 10 years ago. Bye, guys. Have a great night. <laughs> anyway, so... Our idea came, my dad loves Vietnamese food, I mean, he just loves it. I and mean, he's pretty hardcore, he doesn't want to eat anything that isn't halal. We'd go out, we'd just have 
the seafood dish, you know, and, and you know, when we weren't around dad and Makalari, we used to have uh, a bowl of pho. We loved it. And one day we found out, allegedly, that our pho wasn't, forget being halal, it was maybe had pork in it. We were really upset. My dad said, you know, son, I'd love to have a bowl and feel comfortable. I said, you know, we should one day. We should. We should have a little. And I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. So I thought one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So I said, I'm going to set out. I'm going to make some pho. And I tried and I failed. Over and over and over again, I failed miserably. There's, a, there's an art to making soup. And there's, there's a level of attention that's needed. So many small details to make it amazing. For two years, I made it and dumped it in the garbage over and over again. Got help from my friends, YouTube videos, old ladies. And, and today, we're, I think we have some of the best fall in town. I think it's really amazing. What kind of a staff do you have? Do you have like proper Vietnamese staff here or staff from all different backgrounds? I'll tell you, there's there's an idea. So we have we have a Ukrainian young lady that works with us. We have uh, Marikar, who's the heart of the operation. <laughs> Uh, okay. We also have Kasai, he's amazing. Okay. We lost a lot of people over COVID, which was sad, but you know, oh. we're just getting geared up again. We're finally back to pre-COVID numbers, which is great with fresh noodles. Never frozen, always fresh. We fresh them, noodles. We cook them literally while you wait. Look at this. It's quick. Nice. They come out. Fresh basil flown in from Hawaii every single week. Every Thursday, they get picked up at the airport. Ah, <laughs> nice Hawaii, yeah, nice. <clears throat> okay. So when you come in, if you don't know, you just say, make it like we're best friends and we'll go to town. Yeah. But the thing that's special about our shop is you actually get a choice. Mm. You get a choice of what you'd like. If you hate cilantro, you just don't have to eat it. Fresh cilantro. Cilantro. Fresh green onions. Onions. White onions. Nice. Some sprouts. Okay. Well, that's a huge ball already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some chili, huh? Some peppers. Oh, peppers. The satay okay. is made in house. Look at this. Sat and it is amazing. Looks Less great. hot, more flavor. It looks great. I go in. So, we would like uh, one chicken and one uh, the beef. Uh, is that is that the option? What are the options? I have stuff? chicken. I have beef. I have vegetables. Okay. I have uh, brisket. Okay. Um, can I? Can we have like one chicken and one? Of course. So the meat goes in, rare done, and we finish it. Is it like the the pop, the raw? Is it cooked? Uh, raw? It raw. Raw. It right? goes in. It's a tri-tip beef. Goes in raw, and it literally gets cooked. I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you the magic. Interesting. Let's just give it a lime. Lime. Just change my glove. Nice. Okay. I like to have one and a half limes myself because I'm yep. sort of picky like that. This one and a half lime. And then okay. we go in for the magic, a premium broth, which is super special. Ah. It is a bone broth. It is amazing and it is only available. Look at this. Only nice. available at Fo Daddy. Ah. Nobody sells this. Yes. It takes 50 pounds of beef and bones to make 50 bowls. And how long does it take? With the yeah. soup cooking here all day. All day? Okay. All day. You'll see that bucket over there? Yeah. It's literally cooking from the uh, time we wake up here to the time we go to bed. Wow. Looks amazing. Already. <laughs> That's a lot of soup. Yeah. Huge bowl. Oh, yeah. yes. Let's get her going here. Okay. Let's see the next one. We're going to have a chicken. And the broth. So we're gonna make the chicken and coconut. Okay, sure. So again, what are idea. what are your most popular ones? Oh, it's so the first two broths, so the traditional and the premium, yep. were the first two that were here. So you know, they say you like what you grew up with, right? Okay. So those are the first two. This year, for this winter, we started a, a coconut saute and a peanut satay, okay. which I think are amazing. Coconut satay. Is so the good? one you just made, what was it? That uh, one is the premium broth. Premium broth, okay. okay. It is, it's really special. The premium is special because nobody has it. Nice. Look at this, everything fresh, set. 
all the, the vegetables and cilantro and onions going on in there. Some sprouties. Sprouts. Some lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Lamb likes to fight back. Some lamb again. So yeah, lots of lots of things go inside and that makes it a proper meal. That's yeah. what I said in the, the beginning of the video. You know, if you're looking for a proper meal to have and you want to make your soup in turn into a meal with uh, vegetables, protein and everything. Oh, yeah. You can even add, to, yeah. you can even add a, uh, fresh vegetables on top. Oh, okay. So you have broccoli and carrots. What else is in there, my car? So here Apple goes the chicken. Peas. Peas. Uh, purple, nice. cabbage. purple cabbage, carrots. Carrot. Okay, cabbage, carrots as well. Okay. So this bad boy is ready. This broth is less traditional. What's this called? This is called uh, coconut satay. Coconut satay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. So you can see that's where the broth comes out from. Oh, nice. Look at this. Coming fresh. Nice and hot. This, um, this is my first time, you know. Really watching the making of uh, oh. the flour here. Nice, nice, nice. Looks great. Look at this. Amazing. A little tiny bit more we need. Okay, um, I got the you know, the beef premium broth here. I'm gonna have a little bit of the although you for the noodles. You know the proper way to eat noodles from these sticks. First, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a little bite i already had the meat mm, very nice i mean if you are coming here i would recommend their premium broth and uh, the meat in front of me which maybe in the making of it may look raw but it's cooked Mmm, amazing. I mean, very tender, and with the broth on it, with the the hot broth on it, it's cooked. Probably cooked. You can't say it's uncooked. And yeah, this is amazing. Let me dig a <clears throat> proper bite. If you just show it from a closer angle and look, I dig it with some. Uh, what I'll do instead is I'll use the sticks, grab some. I'm using the sticks after a long time, so I don't know if it's gonna, going to work. I, I, would, I used to use it during my university days. So I've eaten a um, little bit less than half of it. I'm going to have another bite. bite. Habibi, look at this. Noodles. Mmm. Very nice noodle on top of that proper broth, premium broth. On a cold day, this is heaven. Amazing. I'm gonna continue and show you at the end. I just have one proper bite. You see, if I you show you show it from here, lots of things and pretty healthy. I'm gonna have this bite. Mm. <laughs> this is one batch that's what it takes to make one batch of soup one batch of soup so wow you don't add water and boil it again everything goes to garbage and is redone from zero oh, okay. that's why the soup tastes the same oh, okay. single time nice okay so this is one batch of all the the what do you call it? The bones, bones and lemon grains. So it makes the broth perfect. All right. So um, I'm done. I'm done with the soup. The bowl was too, you know, huge for me to finish it. So you know, we just took uh, the takeout bowls and we'll take it at home. The the rest of it. Now they gave us uh, the coffee, iced coffee. Now how it's going to work is there is a little bit of a coffee inside in there. So what I'm going to do is, this is hot water. I'm just going to pour it in. You know, if you just come close up here. 
so this is going to this this go uh, this hot water is going to drip in the cup okay so let me show you so this is dripping slowly there's coffee inside the cup so this is dripping slowly okay i'm gonna put it here as well some hot water and it's going to go drip it into the coffee and then once it's filled what i'm going to do is pour it in in this cup of ice and that will make it an iced coffee and it's gonna wait and then i'll show you once i drip it in and have it i ask uh, the staff here if it's um, you know common to have this so they told me that it's a really traditional vietnamese thing to do to have you know even after pho uh, you would have an iced coffee so it's almost done here so what i'm going to do here is take this coffee you know you can see the coffee here and i'm gonna pour it oh cream at the end nice look at this ice coffee this is the first time i'm doing this and really enjoying the experience uh so let's now let's have a sip of a nice cof coffee it's typical vietnamese let's mix it a little bit stir it stir no i'm not having anything oh because there's cream in there that's why mm. Yeah, it's like a typical iced coffee, a little bit. Of course, you cannot have it only this thing because this, this thing is a little bit sweet. So, um, yeah, just stir it well. I'll stir it well and then have this. Mm, very nice. I was told by the owner it's refreshing to have iced coffee and it is actually refreshing. A proper espresso, uh, you know, coffee with the ice on it. On this note, I'll end this uh, vlog. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button do come and support this local business they are located in right downtown calgary um you know if you're anywhere in the city you can drive it here definitely come support the local business um also about the halal um the owner did show me the certificate of halal, halal certificate so they do get there all the meat from a halal supplier on this note i'll end the video make sure uh, to subscribe the channel if you're not already subscribed until next time for the office.